Yes, welcome back to the Married Medicines Family Talk Show. I am Joshua Lubu. And I'm Juliana. We are so excited to have you with us today. Mm -hmm. As we promised you last week, it did, we did uh, like a welcoming mm -hmm. uh, message, episode, episode yes. for you guys to be ready. But I think you guys are not still ready. You don't know what's coming for you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we've started. And yes, today. So I'm so excited. We are so excited oh, yes. to have you with us today. So quickly, let's dive into the topic of today. Mm -hmm. And the topic we are treating today okay. is dating. Yeah. We want to talk about dating because the reason why we chose that was mm -hmm. that's the root and the beginning yeah, the of anything, the foundation of any marriage. Mm. So whatever you want, even normal relationship with your friends, yes. with your family, everything starts from there Day. and that's why we'll be talking about dating today is dating dating okay so um that's that's brilliant yeah that's yeah. brilliant yeah. so thank you very much and um thanks juliana that's very right it's dating dating whichever one welcome. dating dating welcome welcome call your, your family call your friends. friends i'm sorry to say that no, that's okay call your family call your friends mm -hmm. let them come together mm -hmm. call your children see listen you mm -hmm. will learn a lot, a lot. I you will that. learn no. a lot i'm saying it with Confident, and yes. not only that, but majorly with the grace of God mm. upon our lives yes. and what God has yes. sent us to do yeah. at this season. Yes. Please, you will enjoy it. Not only enjoy it, you will learn. Yeah. That's the major, major thing. Yeah. So we welcome you one more time. Make sure you invite your friends and your family. Mm. Tell your parents if they don't know about it. Mm -hmm. If you have any young ones around, please yes. call them. Please call it is them. time to learn. It's safe. Mm. It's a safe place to learn. So it's oh, what kids yeah. can listen to, to, what teenagers. So don't say, oh, get in because of this. No, 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 no. We are children fact, they need it of the lot. most. <laughs> I, God, yeah, yeah. don't forget that. Yeah. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Yes, and uh, to the topic we actually want to uh, speak about or treat, as she, is, she has rightly said, yeah. is dating dynamics. You mm. know, because we know that dating is such an important part of uh, building strong relationship. Here we call it um, building triumphant, triumphant relationship. relationship, building triumphant relationship, building triumphant, triumphant marriage. marriage. That's the that's the plan of God. God gave us marriage, and we yeah. want to make sure that as many as of us uh, mm -hmm. believers, we want to have triumphant marriage. So we want to cover dating comprehensively. I, I hope we'll be able to do that. Because yes, at can't. least. If we yes. start today, we can always, um, mm -hmm. you know, um, come back again. We yeah. can have part two, part, part three, three, part, part four, four if, 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 if that's possible. Mm -hmm. We just want to make sure that we cover it as comprehensively as possible. So yeah. we strongly believe at My Medicines that uh, you are not ready to date until you are fully aware of mm -hmm. both the dangers and the benefit of dating. Yeah. So because the primary benefit is that the opportunity is of dating is for you to have the opportunity to, to meet someone yeah. or to know to someone know that other. is new. Mm -hmm. So the opportunity to build a new friendship yeah. with a member of opposite sex. Mm -hmm. That's what dating is all about. Is there anything you also want to say? Uh, about yeah, um, not too much because you said it all. Mm -hmm. Because I really want us to ru rush quickly into it. Mm -hmm. But there are important questions in the minds of both the both parents mm -hmm. um and young people when it comes to dating. Mm -hmm. See, let me list um some of the some, some of the questions. Yes, yes. And a lot of people ask, okay, what what exactly is dating? Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of dating? Mm -hmm. And what is uh, a person like when is a person ready mm -hmm. to date? Yes. yes. That one is common. When is a person ready to date? Like what age do yes. you think it's good, good for me to start dating? dating. Yes. Parents, I know mm -hmm. we avoid that questions a lot. Mm -hmm. We'll be treating it. And also, the what guideline, guidelines are appropriate mm -hmm. for a dating relationship? Mm. So we'll be talking about yes. that. And um, listen, listen attentively to mm -hmm. some of the things... I will tell you mm. about about dating. Yes. Some of the 
things that you need to check out. Yeah. And uh, okay, let, let, let yes. do you want to talk about? Yeah, that? that's that's okay because uh, the thing is there are things that we need to to understand. Yeah, understanding dating is like this discussion will actually help you to understand the essentials of dating. Mm -hmm. We know that dating is essential for teenagers. It yeah. is essential for parents of all teenagers. So mm -hmm. that's why we're saying this this uh, program dating mm -hmm. is not only for the teenagers that want to date or they are planning yeah. in the future to date. Yeah. It's also important for parents to understand dating. Yes. Uh, dating. Yeah, so that they can guide the young people uh, extensively. So the dating mm -hmm. is also for um, older people. Yes. It's uh, understanding for older people and also people that are newly single, that are newly single or based on divorce mm. or people that are newly single based on uh, widowhood uh, states. Yeah, yeah. widowhood mm -hmm. states. You know, it's not everybody that wants to date that is because they divorced or because they were young mm -hmm. or some people they have the they, they lost husband or they lost different. wives or something mm -hmm. like that so that's also important for them they must understand the dynamics in even as the, couple you still need yes. to like you still need to other. continue to date <laughs> each other <laughs> so will, uh, eventually will, like yes. literally yeah. like my daughter said literally yeah. <laughs> it's for everyone everyone so, so also newly people that are re-entering mm -hmm. the dating scene mm -hmm. so that is also very important for them as well and one thing i know is one mm -hmm. of the most common questions that parents and their teenager children ask mm -hmm. is how old should a person Mm. be before dating mm -hmm. here at Mary medicines listen mm. we believe readiness to date is largely um a matter of maturity mm -hmm. and um, environment environment yeah. maturity and environment mm. you know what i mean by saying mm. that the truth is if you feel that you need a date in mm -hmm. order to complete mm. or fulfill uh fulfilled personally that mm. you want to be fulfilled personally yes i'm sorry you are not ready to date. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes. you, are, you are not it's you are not ready for dating yes. yeah mm -mm. yes that, that's very right that's because uh, most most, uh, most people um enter a relationship with some sense of incompleteness or mm. inadequacy mm. that is like oh i'm not because when you enter into date relationship you don't want to come in as weak 50 percent and me too um with 50 50 50 50 50, 50, 50. 50. but the 50 50 is mm. like it's coming week week no it should be like dating relationship should be like oh uh, um like 100 percent 100 percent i'm 100 percent whole mm -hmm. you are 100 percent whole mm -hmm. from both parties so and uh, it is it's fact known that truly single pe person is someone who is complete you have complete mentally, mentally physically emotionally spiritually intellectually without any form of uh dependence on anyone some people mm -hmm. say oh if i have uh if i have that person i will now be complete no yeah. that's a wrong kind of statement you are complete without the mm -hmm. other person but when you have the person that's yeah. an additional to your life to that. and yes. another thing we want to talk about i, I just want to drop this mm -hmm. you should not be so obsessed mm -hmm. with someone with, how do I put it? with mm -hmm. someone you want to date mm -hmm. and then you forget who you are mm -hmm. you get it yeah you should be preoccupied mm -hmm. with preparing yourself mm -hmm. for whoever God has in mind for you Amen. the primary nice. goal of dating is mm -hmm. to develop a genuine, mm. um, a genuine connection yes. and oneness of spirit mm. between a man and a, and woman. a woman. That that, Do you get that, that? that that makes sense. <laughs> that, really makes sense. <laughs> that that makes sense. That makes sense because <laughs> you know, great fact about um, dating mm. is like don't just marry uh, for sex. Because Ooh. physical intimacy alone won't keep a marriage together. And that is a fact known. Let, let me just marriage. add this. I'm okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, right. You know that a lot of time, mm. now, not a lot of time, nowadays, mm. yes. people, when they meet, they go for a day, mm. they go on a date, on a day, mm. and the next thing is, they're already kissing, mm. they will go, they have sex, mm. and you hear the word, mm. we are mature. Yeah. Excuse me, yeah. having sex 
during dating mm. is not maturity. It's not maturity. It is not. In don't fact, get it twisted. You want yes. to damage. Don't get it yes. twisted. Yes. And they will say, oh, we are two adults. We are mm. two grown adults. Hey, stop it right there. <laughs> don't do that. So you need you need to emotionally, socially, spiritually, intellectually, mm. and the recreationally intimate uh, intimate. In terms of intimacy as well, yeah. so it's not just all about oh, what to watch on TV. Yeah. If you if you haven't actually recovered, let me say some people that are um, maybe they they have a broken dating or relationship, relationship, and they are now they now want to enter into a new dating scene. Mm -hmm. Now they have to recover from previous relationships. Yes. You must make sure that you are fully recovered from previous relationship. Otherwise, you are not ready for a new dating journey. You have mm. to know that. That's a known fact about dating. I mm. want you to understand that. And another thing is, mm. if your partner has an addiction mm -hmm. and he or she is not in a recovery program, listen, yes. you are not, <laughs> not their therapist. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I like that. Like that. So if like anybody, that. If, if you're dating mm. and one of you is going through one addiction or the other, mm. please go for counseling. Go and take care of yourself. Yeah. You are not to, okay, yeah. then the person will suffer. Because in the process of the person trying to heal you, mm. in the process of trying to do, I will be there for you, I can take care of it, and all of that. Yes. See, listen, don't get it twisted. I know what I'm saying. I'm not saying you shouldn't be there for each other. Mm -hmm. It's important. But I'm saying if you are going through one addiction or the other, mm. go for help. Sure. Go, go, That's go for help. Point. Go, you know, to your counselor, mm. Your if you have mentors, if you have, no, go for therapy. Yes. That's it. Go for therapy and be healed mm -hmm. by yourself, not because of whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Because in the process of trying to um, fight for the other person, yes, whatever you are going through in that process yes. will be an issue for you mm -hmm. to now go heal yourself yeah, of those yeah. mental, whatever you have faced during the yeah. process. Yeah. Okay, so if you are dating someone mm -hmm. and the two of you are totally opposite, opposite. Mm, okay. whatever mm. yeah whatever makes you happy now mm. will probably be, be a pain in the neck later <laughs> because you can say oh I, i'm i'm there for mm. for this person yes. let them go for proper healing let them yeah. go for therapy let them yes. go for a help even things. though where i come from mm. i'm speaking for myself where i come from we we tend to reject Counseling therapy, you go to ah, ah do you mean I'm mad? Do you mean I'm going crazy? Mm. Do you mean I'm not okay? Somebody will control what I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah. so I should just go and pay and I will just sit there and talk. Yeah. It's more than that, more please. Than that. We want you to get it right. It's more than that. Mm. So in saying all of that, mm -hmm. let's move on. Okay. Okay. You just like to say all those things so you can get yes, where like we are coming from. Foundation. The foundation Special of the form. whole thing mm. for you. So let's move on. And what we want to talk about right now is the foundations of dating. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's begin with the. Let's begin with why do people date? Do you, do you want to talk about? Yes, it? Yes, it's very good. That's, that's a that's a great question. Thanks, yeah. Milena. Uh, that's a great question because we know that people date for various reasons, uh, various reasons such as finding a life partner, mm -hmm. our companionship. Or some people say, oh, they are lonely or for mm, personal that's growth. Major. That's it. So, and it's important for us to understand, or oh, they have pressure, parental pressure, peers pressure. Yeah. There are, so there are different reasons why people date. But it's important for you to actually understand your purpose for dating mm -hmm. and to ensure that you are on the right path when it comes to, to dating. And mm -hmm. also, look, mm -hmm. I, I'm, so, I'm yeah. sorry, good, <laughs> looking at the, oh, I think I'm too fast. No, no, I'm very, you it's know, a, I'm I want to, about yes, because <laughs> you ah, to understand I know, because as a counselor, like, I know what people come in, like, mm. when they see some things, I just feel so, mm. I pity them so mm -hmm. much, but yeah. not only that, I'm really concerned about those things that they go through, yeah. and also, from a biblical perspective, yeah. dating should be approached with intention mm. and respect. Mm. Why? Seeking to honor God mm -hmm. in our relationship is very vital. It's very vital. It's very, very mm. important. Yeah. So, um... Is there any recommendation? Yes. Yes. I will not call it recommendation. Call it. I will mm. call it prescription because... Mm. Mary Medicine's are... <laughs> prescription. You are with doctors now. Yeah. You are taking... <laughs> 
a doctor prescription you, for your marriage. You are, vibe, you are making me feel like. <laughs> I love that. I oh, love that. <laughs> so, um, what we want you to do, what mm. we feel that you need to do, mm. is reflect on your own reasons for dating. Mm. Important. Mm. Another thing you have to look at is make sure you write them down. Mm. Nowadays, you have this. Yeah. Like you can, you have your notes, you have your, mm -hmm. what was this thing? Oh, I want to remember. Mm. Is it not just notes, you have your Google Keep or something? Google Keep, thank you. Yes. So you have, there's no reason why, like, oh, because I don't have, you don't need pen and paper as long as you have your phone. <laughs> so you don't need no That's excuse. True. So what I'm saying is write them down yeah. and discuss them with a trusted friend, mm. okay, or a mentor, mm. but most especially, yeah, a mentor to gain clarity mm -hmm. and direction yeah. but majorly talk to a counselor mm -hmm. please please yes. we run a lot of free counseling sometimes sessions. when sessions and the reason why we do that is not see okay don't let me go there mm. it's all about helping each other yeah. okay it's all about helping each other and sometimes we only have to ask people to pay for the for the registration fee registration. To book your appointment mm. but for the session itself it's free mm. it's free if you want me to beg you i will beg you come and learn yeah come and make yourself happy it's like me saying come and make yourself happy. and i'm happy i'm mm. begging you mm -hmm. to come and make yourself happy me i've never seen that kind of a thing before might be ah please and also talk to your spiritual leader yeah. talk to your spiritual leader okay mm. but don't get it wrong go mm. by me saying talk to your spiritual leader okay mm. if they are gifted yeah. In that yeah. area, yeah. talk to them. Yes. Okay, so dating is all about, oh, my pastor is experienced, mm. or I experience my mom, my parents experience, so mm. that's the route I will go. Go the right way. Mm. The right way. The right way. Mm. Go to the route of the right way, yeah. yes. Okay. And um, the Lord will help you. Mm. And uh, we know that, we know someone also, who realized she was dating just to avoid loneliness. Mm -hmm. And that's another wrong, wrong way mm -hmm. for dating. And that's why a lot of young people, a lot of single singles, mm -hmm. you complain so much, like, oh, God, why me? Mm -hmm. Am I this? If you know yourself. And the guy told me is uh, he loves me. He loves me. Yes. So if you know yourself, why would you say why you? Because mm. your friend, your co-workers or somebody, they are getting married or something like that. That the next is, why you what? Mm. You will know when you're ready. You yes. will know when you're qualified. You know when things are okay. When you know yourself, that's when you can date. Yes. You get what I'm saying? So after reflecting and discussing with... Uh, with uh yeah. with our counselor mm -hmm. i don't want to say us because it's mm -hmm. us okay mm -hmm. but with our counselor mm -hmm. so she decided to start focusing on her personal growth mm -hmm. and finding a partner who shares our values yes. always find a partner who shares yes. your values that's, it's very important that's that's good yes thank you that's we're talking about foundations there mm -hmm. are many foundations of um dating yeah so many but we can because this is like this is a talk show, mm -hmm. so we we'll only have to just brief yeah. uh, some of those points so that you can grab those. But eventually, we're going to be making videos that will talk about teaching that will have proper teaching on those subjects of, of uh, foundations of dating. Mm -hmm. uh, God bless you. And also the types of dating. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about types of dating. There are different type of dating, and I want to talk about those different type of dating, but. Um, Juliana, you can actually tell us about, let me say, casual dating. Um, <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Okay, let me just put it this way. Okay. Casual dating is when mm. people date without the expectation mm. of a long-term commitment. Mm. Commitment, simple. Okay. And uh, even though it's more about getting to know different people mm -hmm. and having fun, however, yes. it's important to communicate your intentions mm. clearly Clearly. To avoid misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah, of course. A lot of people have that uh, um, misunderstanding mm -hmm. because they won't know whether it's casual dating. What are we doing? Mm -hmm. like, what are we doing? Let me say after three, four, five, six, seven years. Hey! They say, oh, I'm still, I've been waiting for that ring. That's, that could be casual dating that you are not clear about. Because somebody, I mean, we're used to, he gave me the ring after five years. You are now jubilating. 
What were you doing there? What were you so, doing? for the five years, what were you <laughs> thinking? <laughs> like, no, yes. Why am I even <laughs> rejoicing? <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> what were you doing? You mm -hmm. can't give a lady a ring after five years and she begins to celebrate. Celebrate for what? I'm sorry. Because at the end of the day, that means she wasn't expecting or she's been oh, praying. I don't know. Or you, you have relations. You have edge. to be clear. Or you are putting her on the edge or yes. putting him. Not only her. Yes. Huh. Both ladies putting yourselves on the edge, like, mm, yes, so let me give him or her a final, let yes. me just put it there in yes. case. Yes. So, when you do that, you are doing in case that's casual dating, that's, that's casual, casual dating. dating. So, you don't know where you're going, you yeah. don't know when it's gonna happen, yes. And every time it takes you out for just a dinner, you'll be expecting, oh, maybe it's gonna pop the something, it's gonna yeah, pop. Exactly. Why is it popping? That's, Why are you there, first year, second so year, stressful. third year, eh? Four, five, five, six, seven. So I mean, I saw <laughs> on, the, on the other hand, yeah. long-term dating involves mm -hmm. uh, a deeper Unity. commitment. Yes. It's a, a deeper okay, sorry, a deeper commitment and the intention to build a lasting relationship. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, you have a clarity yeah. about a long-term dating. Sorry, yeah, thank uh, you. long term, which involves a deeper commitment. That means. You already know. That's a long time. That means you know what your intentions are. Yes. So the lady is clear. Mm -hmm. The boy is clear. So it's about the growing together. Mm -hmm. The guy is clear. The lady is clear. So you are, and that that helps you to actually grow together mm -hmm. and in supporting each other through life's ups and downs. So mm -hmm. when you go through life's ups and downs, you won't say, "Oh, I'm not. I don't know whether this lady will stay with me yeah. or whether this guy will, uh, will be able to do mm -hmm. this because you are going through." The, you are going through life together. And so the success that you celebrate in future, you can actually celebrate together because mm -hmm. you know exactly what you are doing with better commitment. I, I just want to add to that, okay. that um, Christian dating mm -hmm. involves seeking a romantic relationship mm -hmm. that aligns with your Christian values and beliefs. Mm -hmm. So building a relationship that honors God, mm -hmm. a relationship that aligns with biblical principles, they good. are very important. Yes. So in Christian dating, please seek God. Mm -hmm. Seek God's will first. Will. It's will important will. to prioritize God's uh, guidance mm -hmm. uh, in your dating life. Yes. It's very important. Mm -hmm. You know, the proverb, Proverbs 3... Proverbs right. 3, 5, mm -hmm. 3, 5, and 3 six. to 6, yes. yes, encourages believers to trust in the Lord yes. and seek His direction. direction. So, your guard your heart. Proverbs 4, 23, mm -hmm. guide your heart. Right. You know, guide your heart. It's important to guide your heart. Yeah. Um, advices to guide your heart. Mm -hmm. As it influences everything you do. Mm. So when the scripture is saying, do this, mm. it's for yourself. Yes. So sometimes we think, oh, the Bible says we should do this. Oh, there are too much yes. um, <laughs> and laws or laws, uh, yes. rules. Uh, instructions, rules. Mm. Oh, oh, no, 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 let me do it in my own. Things have changed. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. Ah, please don't make that mistake. Yeah. It's for your own good. Because everything you do, mm. when you guide your heart, it will influence your the kind of thing you would choose, the kind of decisions that you will make. Yes. And it will influence your kind of person. It will guide you to the right person, yes. the right person that you would choose. This means being conscious and discerning about who you enter into a relationship with. That, that's it. it matters a lot. It matters a lot. Yeah. And also, the, the truth of the matter is, Christian dating is a very, it's a huge stop thing that we if you are a believer you've got to understand that and one of the things you must comprehend is avoid sexual immorality you know mm -hmm. that the bible actually clear, clear, clearly instructs yes, us that yes. believers to avoid sexual immorality first yeah. thessalonians 4 3 talks about maintaining purity in crucial is a crucial thing for mm. Christian relationships. Yeah. So when you are dating somebody who is a Christian, mm -hmm. you already know that you need to avoid sexual immorality. And mm -hmm. also you choose godly partner. 
We want you to you choose someone who shares your faith. Uh, Pastor just talked about it before and exhibit godly character. Mm -hmm. Galatians, we know Galatians 5 22 to 23 tells us uh, the fruit of the spirit. Yes. It gave us description mm -hmm. of the fruit of the spirit, which are you know, good indicators of the mature Christian faith. Yeah. So, somebody who loves you, who has joy, who has peace, who has uh, goodness, kindness, all those things. So, you don't have to be begging and be pleading mm -hmm. for somebody to be kind to you, to you or to be good to you. Why? Mm -hmm. Because it's all already part of their Christian faith and character. They are mature. Yeah. In, they are mature because in, number one, the person that is number one in their life is Christ and it's not their friends or their selfish ambition. So, uh, and also in Christian dating, you have understanding of, you pray for discernment. Christian dating is really, really different mm -hmm. because you pray for discernment, you regularly pray for wisdom yes. and also discernment in mm -hmm. your relationship. You yeah. know, the Bible tells us in James chapter James, 1, verse yeah. 5, that you remind us that God gives us wisdom. wisdom. Whoever lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. Oh, so you can ask God for wisdom in your dating relationship. It's very, very, it's amazing what you gain when you ask God to give you guidance mm. and wisdom in your relationship. Well, what I can prescribe mm -hmm. to what my said is mm -hmm. if you're casually dating, mm -hmm. make sure you have open conversation about your intentions. Yes. So if you are in a long-term relationship, mm -hmm. plan regular check-ins to yes. discuss your goals mm -hmm. and, and the progress as a couple, yeah, please take note of that. Take note it's, of it's that. It's very important. And the example that we can also give is just a couple we know. Mm -hmm. We know a couple who are casually dating and had a conversation to ensure sure, they yeah. actually had a conversation for them to ensure that both of them are on the same page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They know that they are. They ensure that they are on the same page. You must make sure they're yeah. on the same page, not seeking a uh, serious relationship mm -hmm. at the moment. Mm -hmm. There are some people they discuss. In fact, they said. We've had a couple that they got married. They said we we don't want we don't want children now yeah. until two it's years. Also time. Period. Yeah. So you yes. have to be clear. In fact, if people that are already married could have that kind of decision mm -hmm. or conversation, yeah. why not somebody that mm -hmm. you are dating? You've mm -hmm. got to actually. So meanwhile, we also know another couple that were actually in a long term relationship, and they, do you know what they did? They set monthly dates to discuss their future plans and relationship goals. Mm. So it's they very in fact, we, we, you said you were going to teach on a long distance relationship. We're going to we're yeah, going to do yeah, that yeah, one we'll... of these days. She's going to do that one. Of these days. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. So moving on, we want to talk about stages of dating, mm -hmm. and I know that dating has different stages. Yes, and starting with initial attraction. Attraction. <laughs> attraction. Oh, or what do you think? Mm -hmm. What What do you think? Because I don't want to just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. What do you think? I know that uh many tips on making a good first impression. Yes. So what do you think about first impression? That's absolutely amazing it's true first impression actually matter first impression matter um, I'm not talking about love at first sight you know it could be it could be so yeah there are some um, first that what do you think <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, that, so, 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 be yourself. So, the point in first impression is in mm -hmm. dating mm -hmm. is that you must be yourself. Please yeah. be yourself, and also dress appropriately. Dress appropriately. Be don't overdress. Uh, maybe what you don't do. That's not who you are. That the person will see you next time and will be like, uh, okay, hold on a minute. The be person real. I saw, what is that? so you can actually be yourself, please, and be dress real. appropriately. Yeah. Don't overdress. Don't underdress as well. Don't, I will say that. That's important. No, no, that's so, and show genuine interest yeah. in the other person. Mm -hmm. And also, remember that authenticity is key. It's very important when it comes to dating. Yeah. There yeah. is therefore now no condemnation mm -hmm. for those who are in mm -hmm. Christ Jesus. Jesus. And please, yes. when you go on a date, mm -hmm. stop condemning. Yes. Please, don't do mm -hmm. that. Don't be don't judge mm -hmm. okay yeah i don't condemn yeah. so as you get to know each other mm -hmm. okay communication is crucial here yeah. if you know married medicines on this 
platform. table, on this platform, mm. we talk. I am so much, much. on communication. Yes. And people ask me sometimes, what do we talk? It's not that we don't talk. You might not be saying the right thing. Mm. It's just that people, when people go on a date, we're still going to say those things. Yeah. You don't ask the right questions. And no, some of you, yes. what, what's your best color? Pink and blue. What's the, <laughs> yeah, those don't worry, we're going to be giving no. you questions to <laughs> no, ask. Yes, no, you need, date, no, really no, knowing each other is good to know all those things. Mm. But there are some no, major, major crucial. questions yes. crucial on your first date. We can actually break it down. Okay, I don't want to say that now. Mm. Yes. Um, you can actually come for and ask us mm. okay we yes. just want to put it ask us we can give you for your five first date for your yes. five the yes date first second third to the fifth one the question you can ask, ask each time, time to yes. get to know each other better mm -hmm. please ask for it and excuse me it's not free mm -hmm. it's not free but if you come for counseling yes we can give that to you of course free Mm. Oh, no. We just want to see your seriousness and you being genuine about your life. Yeah. Always remember it's about your life. Mm -hmm. And I don't want you to make this mistake. When you're coming for counseling or you want to come and act to it, so most of the time, you don't talk about yourself. You talk about the other person as if the other person is the one having the problem. Mm. But the truth of the matter is when there is a problem in a relationship, mm. it's coming from both, both of you yeah. yours might be 10 percent the mm. other person might be 90 yes. percent but the truth of the we'll matter is without that 10 percent you, you are not complete both yeah. of you are not complete mm. so definitely you still need to come for yourselves come mm. for each other and ask meaningful questions mm. and listen attentively okay listen to each other attentively when it's time to define the relationship mm. have an open and honest conversation about your expectations mm. and your mm. goals, goals. Yeah. expectations and your goals. Goals. Yeah. yes it's good but one of the prescription that we will give you or yes. suggestion that i want to suggest is you prepare a list of thoughtful questions mm -hmm. to ask on your next date yeah. that is when you are going for the, for your date you have to prepare a kind of thoughtful questions that you're going to ask what am i going to what are we going to talk mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. it's not when you get to the table or whatever that you start talking about what question am i going to ask that you might not actually be adequately prepared but for you when you are adequately prepared and not just the questions all about you as well because the other person might also think that you are a selfish person it's just all about you so that's very important so that's why we're talking about preparing a thoughtful question that the person will know that genuinely you are interested in, in them in them mm -hmm. it's just that we talk about love the word love is the interest of the other person the, you you look at the interest of the other person that's also and practice active uh, listening by actually summarizing what your date says and asking follow-up questions please when they speak, if you are not clear about what they say, you can actually practice active listening by summarizing. Oh, do you mean? mean it's like something like that. You oh, you say, said do, your you mom said, or your dad. You know, said, do no, no, no. Do you know that most of the most times people will say, no, no, that's not what I said. Yes. That's not yes, apart from yes. even genuinely. Yeah. When you ask people, if you just cry, try to summarize what they say, oh, mm. do you mean whatever? A lot of time people will say, no, no, that's yeah. not what I mean. That's you clarifying mm -hmm. those your that statement and, yeah. on your day. So when they say something, please just try to actually ask and uh, follow up. That's I um because we can't say a lot of people, so you will hear us say, "I know a lot of people mm -hmm. we, because we can't mention anybody." Mm -hmm. uh, I know I know a couple on their first mm -hmm. date they ask about each other's hobbies and passion, mm -hmm. and they follow up. Um, with questions, with questions yes. about their recent trips, mm. showing genuine interest mm. and um, and activeness. Mm. Because that is very important. You have to show genuine interest and yeah. activeness yes. in whatever you are doing yes. and your relationship. So moving on, I want us to talk about this important aspect. Mm -hmm. Healthy relationship. How you can practice healthy relationship. relationship. Okay. Yeah. Healthy relationship. That's that's mm. fantastic. Healthy relationship, we know, when it comes to dating, healthy relationships are built on good communication. Yes. So if you want to date and you are like 
maybe you're already you were married or something happened or whatever it is that you have to go into a dating scene again yes you have to actually learn a healthy relationship practices mm -hmm. um which are built on good communication we talk, she has talked about the good communication mm -hmm. and also setting of boundaries setting mm -hmm. boundaries mm -hmm. you must understand how to set mm -hmm. boundaries and also resolving conflicts <laughs> resolving conflict effectively yes. you know, we call it sometimes we call it um in uh, in your training like uh, conflict resolutions so that conflict resolution is you must understand conflict resolution um, effectively how to resolve effective. conflict is uh, effectively Effective. so do you have um, any advice on setting boundaries let's talk hmm. about that boundaries are essential for um, maintaining for maintaining respect and understanding in relationship yes discuss your limits mm -hmm. Okay, you discuss your limits mm -hmm. and ensure both of you are comfortable with them. That's good. Don't let your back because some people say, Oh, mm -hmm. my boundaries, my boundaries. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. you is are the just other person comfortable. Yes, is the other person comfortable or are you just being selfish about yes. your boundaries? It's true. Don't be selfish about your boundaries. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, I don't want this. Oh, mm -hmm. no, it's not about you. Hello. Is about the both of you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. So it's all about mutual respect and care. Mm. True care. Like truly you're caring for each other properly. Yeah. Sit down with your partner and discuss your boundaries. Okay. So, yeah, Sit down and discuss. Okay. Write them down, like mm -hmm. we said. Yes. Write those boundaries down and make sure mm. uh, you are both you both revisit them regularly mm. to ensure they are being implemented. That's because good. sometimes at mm -hmm. the beginning you might forget. And this is the reason why sometimes mm. people when you are in the relationship already you start taking advantage of each other mm. because you are forgotten, oh it's just when I was still running after him yes. or after her. But now you are there like they say no finish. It's see true. finish. It's it's Don't true. see yourself finish, please. Yeah. It destroys so many marriages. That doesn't mean you won't know each other. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you keep things away from each other, but by respecting each other's opinion, mm -hmm. respecting each other, and those boundaries mm -hmm. are being there, yeah. even when something wants to contradict or want to happen to Oh, why you shouldn't do this? Let the other person know why that thing mm -hmm. is like that. At that point in time, you and your partners must discuss your boundaries regularly. Yeah. Okay? You must discuss it regularly. And, uh, okay, let me put this to you. You must discuss your boundaries regarding personal space. Mm. I don't want to forget that. Mm. You must talk about it. Yes. Regarding personal space. So what do yes. I mean by personal space? Mm. Because sometimes we will overflow the personal space. Yes, uh, boundaries <laughs> about time with friends. Mm -hmm. Agreeing to respect each other's um, need for, let me say, for a long time. Mm -hmm. And or social activities. Yes. Because I've seen a lot of relationships. Once they get married, then mm. there's a problem. No, you can't go there. Yeah. That your friend's party, that birthday, that yeah. wedding. You can't you go there. Limited. You are not limited it's to true. a whole lot of things. Yeah. So talk about it, okay? Yeah. And the truth of this matter is, if you love each other, you care for each other. There's nothing wrong even doing it together. Abby. Yeah. You know. I mean, you know yeah. your friend, the yeah. person you are dating. You know the friends. Mm. So when you they invite your girl or mm. your guy. You go together. Even if you don't go together, let let them. Truthful. Yes, it's you true. might not want to go. Give it's each other freedom, it's liberty true. to so just. So it's not marriage is not prisons. It's not when and that's why a lot of people don't really feel comfortable. Oh, this marriage of a thing. No, yeah. it's not. You are not being in prison. In fact, mm -hmm. marriage brings freedom for so for you. Uh, that's why when you you date the rest, that's what we're talking about dating, so that you know that you are dating somebody that you're really comfortable with, that you can share whatever mm. you want to share with. No, okay, I need some time to relax. It's okay for couple to say, okay, I give you personal space. I've seen couples that I've seen that in a marriage, a friend's marriage that um, the wife was studying, and the the husband had to actually go rent. Um, uh, an hotel yes, for during exam for, during exam for mm -hmm. the wife so that so, she can because of concentrate the kids. because of the kids and that's how it works you know when you do things like that the uh, the wife already knows you really genuinely mm -hmm. care for me it's, it, the husband is not being selfish 
We're I mean, not saying everybody should do that, mm-hmm. but we're just saying that's how it works. Yes. It's not. Uh, and I think one of the reasons why some people can't do that mm. is when you don't trust each other. Yeah. When you don't trust each other, mm. then you can have those issues. issues. And that's why in dating, you must see all those foundation things must be in foundation. place. When you lay a good foundation, you will know all the same. Yeah. I don't want to hear when people tell me, this is not the man I married. He's the man you married, though. Yes. This is not the lady I married. No, 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 mm. no, no. This person changed. Yes, she's the one you marry, but one. you close your eyes on the mm. things that you guys are supposed to talk about, agree on, or when you see something that is not you're not clear about, ask. Mm. Don't be afraid to ask questions. So, yeah. moving on because of our time, yes. I want us to talk about the challenges. challenges. You know, I know there are so many challenges in yeah. dating. We've said some of them uh-huh. in the process, but mm. I really want to nail like, like on it. I'm out on it. You know, mm. dating is always smooth uh, sailing. If yes. I want to date like yes. like like that, so um, Naja, what do you think? <laughs> How should one undo rejection? Let me start from there yeah. because that's one of the. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So how should someone uh, uh, manage rejection? That, that was very important because I know that we talked about it at the inception yeah. and when we're doing the introduction. Mm-hmm. That dating is about you able to, it's both, there is blessing, yes. there is uh, the benefit. You must understand yes. the benefit yeah. and also how to handle mm-hmm. when somebody kind of disappoints you. Yeah. Otherwise, in a marriage or yeah. in a dating, mm-hmm. you might be okay. You yeah. are 100% at it. As in, you want the best yeah. for the world, but you don't know the heart of the other person. Mm. So, and that that could be a challenge. That's a challenge, and that challenge can actually can be like a rejection. Yeah. Do you know that? Let me say this. Do you know that um, um, adultery in a cheating in a marriage is a is a form of rejection. Yes, of, of course, course. Of, exactly. Not I, I don't know a lot of people. Of course, yes. yes. A lot of people don't no, really people see or okay. see that um, um, when husband cheats on you or the wife cheats on you, it's kind of it's a rejection. It's not kind if of. Oh, kind, okay, my, don't don't kind. See, it's kind. a rejection. It, yeah. So people feel rejected when you cheat on your wife. She feels rejected. And you cheat when on you your cheat on your husband. husband he feels rejected. Like so when we're talking you cheat about on dating, your children, on your children, they feel rejected. Focusing on yourself, whatever, whatever without whatever it is. caring so much about so, them, they feel rejected. Yes. yes. So challenges in marriage, uh, in dating, in dating is uh, one of them is rejection. Yeah. That is, you feel rejected. So rejection, rejection can actually be tough. It's it is really tough. And but most importantly, you must remember that it's not. A reflection of who you are it's not based on you it is actually based on the other person so it takes a learning experience to actually keep moving forward whenever you feel rejected so yeah. there's someone out there who will appreciate you for who you are we That's want it. you to know that maybe you've been you you felt rejected in the past we want to assure you that there is somebody out there mm-hmm. that god has prepared for you. So don't give up. Don't feel like, oh, the life has ended because I feel rejected. Take it and move forward. And move forward. You know? Uh, give Just us some prescription. Take it and move forward. Okay, let me... Ah, my Holy Spirit, help me. Okay, after experiencing rejection, mm. I will say, take some time for self-care. Mm. Okay? Mm. Take some time for self-care. Mm. Engage in activities that makes you feel good mm-hmm. about, yourself. about yourself. Another thing is engage in activities that remind you of your worth. Mm. Please. Yes. Remind you. And build a real friendship mm-hmm. and stay out of bed. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> stay out of bed. Beloved, stay out of bed, bread. Because the thing is, when you feel rejected, I like On that. Top, my <laughs> <child>. <laughs> no, because when you feel rejected, you can just lose yourself. Yes. And just say you want to go bed to bed with anybody. Yeah. So you can so please don't when you feel like that. So after being rejected, you know, the truth is many people usually you can take a weekend out or whatever and go to their favorite spot and you know just to clear their heads and or have and have family members that they love or friends that they love you know with them Guys, but I'm please service, yes you know? we're going to be rounding up now <laughs> but i want you to talk about uh, red flags I want to talk about red flags. How do we'll round yeah. up shortly? But I want to, to really listen to 
um, the issue of red flags is a big deal. Worship the king of kings. Hallelujah. Come everyone and sing. Come together. Watch out. Okay, so, mm -hmm. ah, Ty, that no red flag, I really want us to talk about it another day, okay. but I'll just say a few things, Briefly. because they are real. Mm -hmm. Brother, brother, mm -hmm. they are real. Sister, mm -hmm. they are real. So, now, how do you watch out for red flags? Mm -hmm. If something, ah, it's a lot, okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't judge me Let's by just what I'll just please. say here. Let's touch it then. Okay, uh, Excuse me, I will say it. Mm. Bless Excuse me. If you feel, um, if you, if something feels off, mm. trust your instinct mm -hmm. and address it early on in the relationship. Mm. Don't ignore it. Don't try to say, oh, I don't want this person to feel this way. Mm. Never ignore it. If something mm. appears to be a red flag. Mm. Now, red flag can be different things for different people. Yes. Do you understand? But there are some major ones that is generally for everybody. Mm -hmm. Don't joke with it. Okay? Mm. Confront it and don't let it slide mm -hmm. as like... Not that. Don't say, oh, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's because maybe I'm the one. Oh, I made mm -hmm. him feel like that. Oh, I ma made her mm -hmm. feel like No, it's because of, the, don't because of anything. Okay. okay? Character is character. Mm -hmm. right? Deal with red flags. Mm -hmm. Interact with the other person's friends. Mm -hmm. Spend time with the person you want to date or you're mm. dating already spend time with other people their parents mm. you will know the red flags especially the family members mm. i know Sorry, sometimes me. i remember um i think a family i really love that there was an event sometimes ago i think a family uh, the father will always send one of these yes. the younger mm. brother to the, the to family sister. To the, to the family, to go with to the family. Go, yes. And the intention is just yes. to see the guy. Because, of course, the lady involved <laughs> yeah, will on, not yes. see some things because yes. the love, the love, love, <laughs> love is my blind. My baby, my baby. <laughs> love is blind. So, you might not see. So, mm, the sister like that. that is not involved, is not in the love, whatever. He's mm -hmm. just seeing it as, okay, that guy go that like them, my the sister. Parents. So, they will, they will go with, they will live with the parents to see. That, the real person who the guy is. Yes. So if the guy is doing face like this, or mm. turn, and the other lady is not seeing, the sister will say, ah, I know. <laughs> Auntie me, mm. or oh, but that me, that mm. lady, Emma Terry, don't mm. try, don't try yourself. Yeah. You know, so those, those things are very important. Don't mm. ignore red flags, I'm begging you. Mm -hmm. See, they'll say a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. It's mm. true, but it's more than that. It will affect your mentality mm. about marriage mm. how god designed it it will affect the children that must have been involved at that time yeah. okay so because what you'll be telling them is because what children knows is your relationship is their first um experience is their mm. first life real experience, experience. Yeah. so if you are doing it in the wrong way you are already passing the message see you don't have to say don't do this Mm -hmm. They watch you more what you do than what you tell them. Yeah. What they hear yeah. is very important. So please, any red flag, don't joke with it. Talk mm -hmm. about it, yeah. okay? So it might be red flag at you at first, but know the reason why that happened. So mm -hmm. you can know where to channel your energy with the person, with your partner, mm -hmm. with your, as a couple. So you will know if this person needs help. In this particular way. So you cannot, oh, I think you need yes. to go for a therapy. You need yeah. to go see your counselor. Yeah. I think this thing is happening to you because of this reason. Yes. You understand what I mean? So the truth is, um, where we grow up, eh, we are a product of our mm -hmm. environment. Everybody. So if there are ways of seeing how the other person will handle pressure, in any situation, mm. please, okay, don't let me say too much. My story, all my story is this. Mm. Be deliberate yeah. about red flags. Mm. Don't say, I don't want to look into it. Look into it, though. Mm -hmm. Look into it. Yeah. I've, I've, um, I've cancelled a lot of couples who are even ready to get married. Mm. And after first, second, third, fourth session, session mm -hmm. they feel like they've never known each other before. Yeah. 
because all the while they were not asking the right questions mm. and the wedding is just around the corner yeah. i want to say this i've said this over and over mm. and over i'm sorry i'm sorry mm. man. No, no, over and over and over your pastor is not a counselor it's not all pastors not all pastors no yes. some pastors they major yes. in what we are doing right now yes. if that's their call good luck to you mm. but your pastor eh normal normal as your shepherd church and they they attend to so many things mm. what they will advise you biblically oh don't do this don't do that and everything like that and also when you want no, to get no, married no. the six weeks that they will ask you to come for counseling is too late already because what they will do for you in that six weeks is to encourage you how to manage your home. That means they already seal it, okay? How to manage you, do this, do that. They are doing their job, their normal yes. thing. But in the church, we must have um, uh, a group of counselors yes. in church, well-trained mm. counselors in church that will be able to guide people around. So before you even make the date or everything, you must have known everything. So going for three weeks counseling before the wedding day, mm -hmm. it will be just an uh, added advantage mm -hmm. of your pastor taking the mm -hmm. blessing, the grace, the knowledge, the wisdom, when you are in challenge, when things happen to and you, this is how to go about it. <laughs> yes, and not on wedding day. The their pastor are preaching that 45 minutes, 30 minutes, that's when they will take. Look, so for your wife, for your husband, yes. make sure, you, no. no. It's more than that. You know, you all know that yes. that day, your mind is not even the preaching yeah, most of the time. <laughs> it's on the planning <laughs> after you will change yes, for the reception, yes, the dancing, the food. So before you reach that fairy, 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 whatever, mm. make sure you do the needful. Mm. So why, um, Anati, if you do that, mm. you if you do the needful, you'll mm. be able to see how flexible things are yes. how you can maneuver things how mm. flexible things can be mm. so when you go to your whatever experience you are close to the friend see another thing don't close to friends mm. that will tell you what is done that will be lying to you mm -hmm. because some friends they will know that what the person you are dating mm. is not is doing something else yeah. and they'll be calling you our wife our husband mm. our uncle our yeah. sister please don't indulge in all those things yeah know each other for each other for each other know uh, yourself let, so well. let, let me let me add to uh what uh, you said now that if you are in a dating relationship yes and um because of the challenges or whatever you must if your inner voice yeah. tells you that yeah, you are you. making a mistake, a mistake. Thank you. please stop stop, stop and listen to it I mean, you don't have to say, I'm stopping, I'm not marrying anymore. No, 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 that's <laughs> not the point. If your, if your inner mind that's or voice tells you, this is wrong, this is wrong, you need to check that. You need to stop for a while, at least check what is it mm. that I need to clear. Maybe you have some questions in your mind that you need to So I'll be willing to pull the plug. Yeah. Be willing to pull that, you know, put things on hold until issues can be clarified the third, yeah. in that relationship that you have. Well, the question, the question is why marry when you know deep down inside you that you are not, that what the decision or the things are not right or the decision you are you, about to make is not really right. Why would you marry when, we, when you feel, mm. we don't feel comfortable? Or you feel that something is still off. Mm. And sometimes the pressure, the peer mm. pressure, can yes. make you make that kind of mistakes, thinking, oh, at this time, so when everything is almost set, mm. is that the time I will now say, oh, because of this reason? So when we are talking about red flags, we are talking about all those things, we are not mm. saying, oh, destroy the relationship. Yes. It means things that you can work on yes. or you cannot. If there are things you can work on, go ahead and do that yes. and support each other. And go for the right channel for yeah. the for counseling. Please, it's important. And uh, why marry when you know that small things are adding up mm -hmm. to be a big thing? Yes. But 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 you you don't you don't know how to you don't know how to confront them mm. because sometimes some people don't have, and you know sometimes you can be in that space for years. Yeah. Not knowing. Oh, I don't want to hurt this person. Yeah, so that. why marry just because you're afraid mm. you might hurt the other person mm. by confronting him or her? Yeah. So meanwhile, 
it's wrong to be in a relationship where you're afraid to to ask questions. To ask questions. It's to true. Or your to mind. clarify issues. To clarify issues. No, 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 no. Don't okay, do that Why are you in yourself. that relationship in the first place? Mm. Where you cannot open up to say, oh, I'm feeling this certain way because of this certain thing. And okay, can I, can I be clear? Yeah. I love premise because you know, it's... Believe it, me, it, the, the, yes. the, those things are important. A lot of this stuff will mm. come to the surface yeah through primary counseling yeah that's what you were just saying talking about primary counseling that's what when she was talking about pastors is like the pastor might not touch mm. all the areas all the, yes. all the area. and that's why it's it, it's it's good yeah, i don't want you to get us wrong mm. when i'm talking about pastors yes. or when i'm talking about church um wedding counseling. but what i'm saying is so many things will have been too late Mm. Even when your pastor sees some things, mm. they won't be able to say it anymore because your wedding is just in three weeks' time. Yes, as if you, otherwise you blame your pastor. Is your pastor that, that destroys my marriage, relationship. my relationship? It's true. Do People you get do it? Go on, so even when they yeah. see, yeah. Yeah. they might ignore it and say well, they will keep praying for praying you. Praying for you. Do you understand? It's yes. not everybody that can sustain some situations. Mm. Some situations destroys a lot of things. Mm. Not that moment, but. Even for the future. So when I'm talking about pastors, mm. I'm not condemning. I'm a pastor. People come for counseling, for yeah. this, for that. But I do tell them, even before, if I know you before then, mm. I will tell you, you have to take the proper channel. Yes. But then it's good. I'm not condemning. Please, it's important for them to mm. pray for you, to counsel you before the three weeks, four weeks that they do. So be serious about not ignoring red flag. That's yes. what we're talking about. Red flag is huge. Mm. If you start mentioning so many things, you'll be shocked mm. at even so, some things you are used to in your relationship. Yes. You'll be shocked that it's a red flag. That will mm. be a problem for you in the future. So you need to know ahead that some people are able to uh, mm. mat or hide things yes. for a very long time. Yeah. Listen very well mm. to what I'm about to say. In mm. a dating relationship, yes. if you don't ask specific questions, yeah. some people mm. may feel um mm. so 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 if you my point is you need to ask the right questions mm -hmm. okay since you didn't ask <clears throat> and some people may feel like okay right, since you yeah. didn't ask me it means that they didn't lie to you mm. because you didn't ask even though they know they know that they're supposed to talk about there are some it. things you need to discuss there are some things you need to it's discuss true. but true. they will just say Oh, well. You didn't ask me. He or she didn't yes. ask me. You didn't so. ask me if I have children because before. Because oh, you, you didn't ask me, me if I have No, I didn't, I didn't lie to you. You, you didn't, didn't ask me. me. She doesn't eat or she doesn't need to ask you. Yes. You're supposed to tell so. because they might not know. Yes. So our point on this is make sure you do the need. You must not be naive. Mm. Naive by not finding out mm. the questions you should be asking in your relationship yes okay when you are dating there are some yes. things you need to ask you should not be thinking mm. um you really don't have the right mm -hmm. okay mm. you, maybe you, you are thinking you don't have the right to ask some certain questions mm. oh or maybe this question is too deep mm. i don't want this relationship to destroy yes. hey, you are actually destroying the relationship for not, not asking yes. those questions yes. don't be gullible Please don't be gullible mm. that there are some questions that you do. I shouldn't be asking that as a Christian. There's nothing <laughs> like that. I don't know where you see that in your Bible. Mm. Eh? Okay, so there's nothing like there are some questions I can ask because I'm a Christian. I'm a born again Christian. No. Well, you don't eh? want to ask the other person you because he's a Christian. He's a Christian. Think. Uh, the person should know. Yeah, yeah. You think the person should know, or you also think. That the person cannot be involved in, in something such, ah, that, that, it's, that is blatantly wrong. Who told you esquisa, that? Don't esquisa. assume. Don't ever assume that your Christian partner they can will be never involved. have been uh, been into something that is blatantly wrong. So never they can assume be, they can anything. Be, they can Please be. ask them. And don't forget to pray together. We're rounding up. Pray together. Have similar values, values and, and interest yes, in this. Yes. Try to know the other person's faults mm. and know that you can accept them. Yes. Okay? Yes. Watch out to see how they treat people. Mm. Watch how they treat animals, even <laughs> animals. Watch out how they treat waiters, mm. the waitresses, when you yes. go eat, how they, treat, how they talk to together. them. Yes. You know? Please watch out for those things. We'll be talking about the. For, we'll still talk about P 
people that are the divorcee. Yes. Oh, yes. The many, widow many, and all so. that. We'll, we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about it. We'll have part two. This is just for you to part know one. the things you need to go through, the yeah. things you need to ask. Please, if you if you need help, ask us. Okay. It's important. Okay. Yes. Send us a message. Send send a message to our uh all our social media, Pastor Joshua mm -hmm. uh Tololubu on Instagram. Juliana Olubu on Facebook, on Instagram, on on all social media, okay? And don't forget, subscribe on our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. okay? Like, share, comment. Mm -hmm. um, we'll love to see, to hear from you. Mm -hmm. And in in another two weeks, we'll yes. be opening up our um, phone where you can call, call in, in to ask questions, where yes. you can call in directly on this um episode on the episode on the platform yes. to ask any questions you want to ask okay signing out okay i'm with joshua my, i'm joshua uh, wait, no. <laughs> let me uh, what did they say okay. let me caramel let okay. me okay. let me okay let's go come on yeah go okay, ahead sign yeah. out yes with my boyfriend yes with my guy my pastor mm. my best friend mm. for 27 years mm. Thank you very much. Yes. Excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joshua. I'm, the nation. I'm Joshua. And Lord. I'm Juliana. See, he's signing yes. out like this guy. Can you just. Yes, we're building a triumphant relationship, relationship and, and building a triumphant, a triumphant marriage. marriage. Stay blessed and, we'll and God bless you. Until we see you next okay. week. Okay.